are you tired working with these devices? I came up with an idea. When I hit the script and as soon as I start UDP mapping, then this kind of uh, adjustment happens first. And now it's the rig is connected. So as soon as I'm manipulating it, you see it's almost in real time connected to that guy here. And um, yeah, it's it's working very, very nicely, as you can see. And also, as you can see, here is a button. And um, I can basically manipulate this guy. And um, when I toggle this, you can see that um, my timeline here is also manipulated, right? Hello, my name is Eric Giesmann and I'm 3D artist and animator and I love to do interactive stuff. So that's why I came up with an idea to create a human input device. So up down at this point is switching between keyframes, left, right is uh, toggling the timeline. And now the cool thing, when I press this button here, when I press it, a keyframe is created. So you can see it when I click on the joint, you'll see there's a keyframe on basically everything. So it's working like a capture, like a, a post capture. So as soon as I press this, then the keyframe captures the whole rig in that specific um, frame. So in that way, when you're, after you've manipulated it, you can go further in the timeline and make another keyframe. And then it's, um, yeah, the keyframe is um, catched. And um, here you can see also the head already is working. Okay, so this is uh, the status at this point. Uh, a couple of functions which are already working is stop, you stop the script. And also um, if you want to have a reset pose, then you of course can do it with uh, set offset and then it's basically set uh, setting this as the offset for for the upcoming uh, influences i can also delete a keyframe which i created here like if i want to adjust it later because now it's locked right i can just say delete keyframe and then it's free again on this time spot so that i can make a new snapshot um, I also can delete all keyframes and I can reset the joints. So after I stop the script, I just can say reset joints, delete all keyframes and I can close it. And also the one thing I want to do is that it's transferable, of course, to every wick. So that's the idea in the end so that the 3D animator can map it to uh, whatever a rig he likes. One of the future steps, of course, uh, will be that it is also um, yeah, compatible with uh, Blender, for example, 3ds Max later, and uh, some other 3D software. This is uh, the status from today. And I definitely will work on this. And um, yeah, I would like to have your support, guys, if you like it. Subscribe or whatever uh, you like to support me. And can't wait for the future updates.